the video, everybody. If you guys like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have yet to, please hit that subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate it. So today, guys, we are driving out to a remote location in Lancaster, PA, not headed down to Mexico today, not necessarily required for today's activities because they're permissible up here in the States. I'm excited about the fact that I just bought a drone. I'll go into all the specifics right now. I never thought that I would actually own a drone, but I did decide to go out and buy one. It's actually more or less a business expense under the enthusiast umbrella. We have some seriously awesome stuff coming for you guys here shortly. So enthusiast is gonna be giving this away. You guys actually didn't think that I would show you the surprise. Would I, that would take all the fun out of it. Now what I want to inform you though of is that is not the only thing that enthusiast is gonna be giving away. Enthusiast is gonna be giving away five things, not just one thing. And the one thing that I just showed you guys has a pretty penny associated with it. It's not like it's some cheap item. So what I ask that you guys do before we get over into the rest of this vlog, I would sincerely appreciate it is if you go to over to Enthusiast's Facebook page and the Enthusiast Instagram and give both of those pages a like slash follow. What's also good is come October 1st, you will be the first in line for what is to come for this giveaway. Now, all of the following details will be announced during that time as well, but right now, I cannot disclose that information because again, I would take all the fun out of it. I seriously wanna thank all of the people that have contributed to all of the sales that we've had in just the past month alone. It's been absolutely incredible. Really, your passions are our priority at Enthusiast. Like I said, I had literally just picked up a new toy and I'm really, really excited about it. Now, I'm not really the type of guy that's too connected to electronics. Oh, sorry, where were we? No, but seriously guys, since this YouTube venture, I've become more acquainted or acclimated with photography and I guess like I'm more aware of it now. That's kind of the way to put it. I'm filming this video on a Canon T6i. It's got the Rode Mini Micro up top and the Joby tripod on the bottom. And now that's a pretty big step for me because I really didn't even know what a T6i was or DSLR or point and shoot or any of that nonsense before I had gotten into YouTube. $1,500 plus for like, you know, one of those big DJI box, white box looking robotic things. Uh, so I never really kind of looked at them, but then I stumbled upon a video one day and I saw a tiny drone. And that drone is called the DJI Spark. Now, let me just tell you guys right now, the channel is nowhere near large enough for DJI to come out and sponsor me to do a video. And if I was getting sponsored by DJI, I would definitely let you guys know, and I would be totally stoked. Now that the air is clear, I just wanted to show you guys this drone, and I'm not going to spend the entire video going over it, but I'm really excited about it. It's literally tiny. Look at this little thing. It's like the size of my hand. Everything folds out. It's super ergonomic, and that's what I love about it. It comes with this cool little carrying case, so you can close it up, you can toss it around. It's cool, it comes with a little remote controller, comes with an extra battery. There's a battery in the drone right now. It also comes with amateur flying propeller guards. Definitely need those. And uh, it's actually pretty convenient, because I can keep my GoPro stuff in it and my extra Canon DSLR battery, because that thing dies all the time. It's something new to the channel. I want to improve your viewing experience. I think a lot of people love the angles of drones and I personally do myself. Um, that promotion thing that I had mentioned earlier with enthusiasts, basically there's gonna be a lot of cool that is part of that kind of campaign that we're gonna be running. So anyway, it's cool, the controller folds out. Basically take your phone, can't use a case with it. You stick it in, you hold it real nice and good like. You can't calibrate it by the truck. You have to kind of stand out here and just look down and make it look like you're starting a drone bonfire. Which is kind of a pain in the ass, but then you get to do this. You can actually latch on to objects, and I think that's what we're going to do right now. what is a private bridge. It's really, really neat. 
This is like one of my most secreted prized locations that I can't disclose with anybody. Because when you're a YouTube content creator, you always want to find good spots you can have to go to to get away to kind of be secluded. And what better spot than a bridge over a highway? Yep, that spot is sick. Just took some epic, epic photos. And we got some Instagram content for the next few days. All right, now we're back away from the highway. I didn't want to vlog over there. I was really tempted to vlog over there, but I didn't want to vlog because the external mic that we have on this camera would pick up all of the audio road noise, and that would just be really freaking annoying. So I don't think that this is nearly as bad as Mike's truck when he killed all those mayflies or whatever the hell it was that he had a complete genocide of on the front of his truck, but it made me think of the front of my truck after driving it just around the corner a few times. It's insane. It's not like a car where a car is like kind of aerodynamic, you know, it has like a nice gradual slant to it and a lot of the bugs hit the front but it's not that big of a deal. A lot of them kind of just propel off the top. Well, when you have like a really big truck, this is like a bug bulldozer. That's what I should probably rename the truck because literally it just eats everything in its path and it is a crazy nuisance because you spend all this time scrubbing the bugs off and I know all of you guys out in the audience can relate bugs after bugs after bugs off and then you go out and you drive one night and it's a complete genocide all over again. A lot of you guys have been asking about the wrap so I wanted to point out some of the imperfections in the wrap. I mean, this is vinyl wrap for anybody that doesn't know or anyone that's new to the channel. I vinyl wrapped the front of the truck about a year and a half ago. Maybe if we were fair we'll just round up to two. Um, it's held its color relatively well. Uh, for the most part, you can't really see too much of a color shift. Now, I'm sure if we took some sort of a light and gave it a little bit of an exposure, you would see some of the shift in color. But, uh, you know, after two years, I got to say that the wrap has held up really well. I've actually found that the wrap will stain, so it'll become tarnished over time. Again, really, really hard to see with the lighting right now. It would almost kind of have to be in person, although this camera is good. Uh, but I still wanted to give a quick review of the wrap for you guys that have been curious about it because, you know, painting a truck is not cheap by any means. And painting is also difficult because these bumpers, the headlights, and the grill inserts were once chrome. It was exactly that. I decided to explore vinyl wrap. And vinyl wrap, back when I wrapped this, was not all that popular. I had seen a few guys, and I personally can't take credit for it. There was a guy on the diesel forums that actually had done it for me on a white dually, which actually really helped because then I could justify the color differences and whether or not I would be satisfied with it. Now, I paid $250 to get all of this work done, and I point to the back for the back bumper. That is just absolutely insane. Now, this job will probably typically retail around $800 to $1,000, depending on where you're located and what that shop charges and what their throughput is with volume, etc. After a year and a half, I've been very pleased with it. It is starting to show signs of deterioration in the sense that the adhesive is starting to come off some of the aspects of the wrap you can see right there. Uh, you can see that there are little chips and nicks. Uh, it's starting to fold up here a little bit. Right here, it's it's already kind of chipped. I think a big rock probably hit that. Here, it's folding up, and you can't really glue this back down. You like I thought, I thought I could take like a gorilla glue and glue this back down, but that didn't work whatsoever. It was actually really dumb of me to try. And honestly, if you guys haven't seen uh, Mark Decola, he's the owner of Off Road Dynasty. Uh, he's actually a fellow Pennsylvania native as well. I'm in like the Lancaster County area. He's out in the Erie, Pennsylvania area. He just vinyl wrapped all these aspects of, it, of the truck himself and it was a very impressive job. So with that said, to see somebody on a peer level do that, that gives me the confidence to do it and ultimately if I can't do it, I'm probably just going to reach out to him, take a weekend trip out there and knock it out myself. But um, really pleased with it overall. It's nice because again, when you get those deficiencies or you get little tears or rips or chips it's not a big deal and like i said guys this thing is the bug bulldozer it's a bulldozer period so if it's not bugs hitting it it's rocks it's little pieces of debris asphalt whatever the case may be that's inevitably going to chip the front i'm probably going to either rewrap front of the truck white at some point maybe over the course of this winter or i have a wrap option in mind now no i'm not going to do anything just like kind of standard color. It's gonna be a little bit crazier than that, but it's actually going to be something to help me promote something else. Now I'm sure that you guys could kind of idealize that in your mind, 
So I'll just let you all gather your thoughts and then drop a comment below on what you guys think that I have in mind for wrapping the truck. Now I can't say that the time frame is going to be very soon, kind of short term, one to two months, definitely not, but probably like a mid-term type of change that you'll see the Duramax going through, and that's gonna be the entire thing. Uh, now I promise you guys that you will not be disappointed with that. And of course, the shot of the rear bumper. A lot of people have been asking about what I did with the sensors. No hiding anything here, guys. Basically just cut around the sensors from the inside and around the outside. That way there wasn't any beveling of the actual wrap in between these tight nooks and crannies. It's very difficult with vinyl wrap. Uh, but I left the sensor exposed, that way it works. I don't think the sensors will work if you vinyl wrap over them. Now I could be mistaken, but in my instance I did not wrap them. Um, and I think it still looks good. I don't go out there to roll coal just to roll coal. What you need to realize is this turbo is a fixed vein turbo. I have a lot of fuel pumping into this thing. And honestly, when I, whenever I step into the throttle, it just dumps regardless of the fact. And what I've noticed is with the axle dump, again, might be kind of difficult to see. It's actually a ton of soot particulate that has developed on the back of the bumper. You can see kind of those lines that I just formed here. Now, this entire thing will actually become tainted a darker color and it will almost look like, like a dark tan color. To any of the smokers out in the audience, and I don't mean to seclude you guys or call you out or target you by any means, but if you smoke in your house for a long period of time or your parents smoked in your house for a long period of time and you actually remove the photos off the wall, you'll see that the drywall around that, that item on the wall will actually be a totally different color, it'll be tarnished. So that happens with the bumper. What I've found is from a cleaning perspective is I actually just use a sponge, like a normal household sponge, and then I'll actually take white wall bleach, so white wall tires, they make like a white wall bleach, I think it's by Mothers if I'm not mistaken, and I'll spray it all over the vinyl wrap, I'll let it sit for a little while, and then I'll take the abrasive side of the back of that sponge and I'll hit the vinyl wrap with that. It doesn't scratch it, but it actually takes all of that built-up particulate off of the vinyl wrap. Now it's really nice to have 14 watts because you can kind of just post up on them. So anyway guys, uh, with that said, this vlog was a little talkative. I'm not gonna apologize for that because it's really more of an informative type of video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog videography that kind of started this video and was kind of in the middle segments of this video. I got bugs all over me. Um, really nice night here out in Pennsylvania. Really looking forward to a lot of the things that are coming up other than winter. Kind of depressed about winter and get that seasonal depression. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to stay not depressed. No, but on a serious note, guys, um, embrace this time of the year. It's an absolutely beautiful time of the season. As I look around, the trees are starting to change all around us. And we all know that fall is so short, um, you know, and, and really just take a moment to appreciate everything that's going on around you, appreciate this time of the year because it's absolutely beautiful. And before you know it, to anybody that actually lives out in you know the states that I'm not gonna say are affected, but that are subject to four seasons, this is a beautiful time of the year, embrace it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing that I wanted to remind you of was the fact that the YouTube call out is on October 28th. I'm pretty sure it's at Cecil County. If something changes, we will let you guys know. We did do a rollout introduction video, myself, Nick, Mike, and Andy. Uh, we will be rolling that out once all of the details are solidified, but it is coming up, guys, so be on the lookout for it. And again, guys, I wanna stress this. Sick giveaways coming, five things that are gonna be given away. Go check out Enthusiast Apparel on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be down in the description below. With that said, guys, have a phenomenal night. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already or you're stopping in for the first time, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next upload.